Hey guys, you are watching Brett's app about help, and in this video I'll be showing you how to run Cydia natively in the background. So for this to work, you are going to be needing to be able to SSH into your iDevice. Uh, so if you're on a PC, you can use WinSCP, that one is the best so far. And if you're on a Mac, I've heard Cyberduck is pretty good, so you can go ahead and download that if you don't already have it. And of course, you're going to be needing to download Win, or sorry, open SSH from Cydia on your iDevice. So if you don't know how to SSH into your iDevice, this is not a tutorial of how to do it. You can just search up YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. So let's get started, and I'm going to open up WinSCP and just log into my iDevice. Of course, you are going to be needing to plug in your device via USB. And from there, you just go to this little dash here before private, and there should be nothing else over here. Then you just go to var, uh, then you go to stash, which should be at the bottom, so stash right there applications.pwn and then cydia.app and then scroll down to info.plist now before we go any further I do definitely recommend that you copy this or back it up somewhere because we are going to be modifying this so just do copy and uh, let's do it to my desktop so we can find it easily and copy and it should appear right here uh, so that's pretty good. It's all backed up. We can now continue. So double click it so you can see all this coding and just scroll down to the very bottom until you see this piece of code right here. So it's key UI application exit on suspend. So what you want to do here is just change this from true to false. So we just remove that and type in F A L S E. And uh, once you got that all set up, you can hit the little save. So save that and then you're basically done. That's all you needed to do for this. You can close out a WinSCP. And now on your iDevice, all you need to do is just restart your iDevice. So slide to power off and uh, reboot it. And then you should be able to uh, run Cydia in the background. And why don't I just show you that it works. Okay, so here I have Cydia loaded up and it's all legit. And I'm just gonna close out of it here and I can just bring up the multitasker hit this and there you go bam it works I can do it in multitasking so thank you for watching my video on how to run city in the background if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also please hit the subscribe button up top right there uh, to see more videos like this and also comment down below as to any thoughts comments or suggestions that you have about this and as always I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you in the next video peace